Uh, well, one of the, the, the most memorable moments uh, must be the, uh, the famous night at Bellevue where there's pictures from in the background. Um, uh, I managed to, to come on late on in the game um, when Andy broke his leg and uh, we, we took Man City into extra time and we beat them and we had a, a really good cup run after that. Yeah, it was two penalties. I mean, um, it, as a keeper, you, you kind of just... Uh, Guess it as a way really, and, and I was lucky enough to, to save two, and then Bassel hit the bar, and, and it saw us through as, as all of the other lads managed to score their penalties. You don't really get to think, to be fair. It's just really a blur. You save the last one, and then you threw, and then the, the crowd, crowd invaded the pitch, and the players jumped on me, and, and then it was not until the next day in the papers when my, my name was all over the kind of realised, hang on here, we've actually managed something really, really good with, with, with Doncaster Rovers. I think it's just part of the whole. The whole atmosphere at the Bellevue ground um, back in the day was electric, um, not just the game itself, but when you arrived as a player to the game, speaking to the fans before, um, walking onto the pitch, doing the warm-up and the game itself, um, the crowd was that close to the, to the pitch that it felt like they were literally on it. Um, so for not just myself, but all the players back in those days, um, we were all buzzing about, about those nights, especially the cup nights. So, uh, a lot of fans who attend the Keepmo Stadium now and, and watch the games, they will have fun memories. So I'm very proud to be part of part of history. Here. It's great to see the pictures up in the Bellevue Bar um, of some of the other Rovers players. Some of them are still my friends here. So um, so it's great for, for fans to come down on a match day and kind of reminisce and, and think back to those days. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's a great atmosphere here at the Keepmo Stadium. Um, um, unfortunately, I can't get down much to, to watch the game as I'm playing myself, but when my playing career is over, I'll definitely come down and, and uh, I might have a pint before the game down here. When I stepped down playing full-time professional, um, I got contacted by the Eric Randerson, the old chief executive, and um, he kind of um, offered me a job um, along with, with Liam Scully, had a, had a meeting with them. And uh, well, the last three years has just been flying now, so, so I'm running um, a program called NCS now which is engaging with young people um, and we've got a great team there um, working full time here, wouldn't change it for anything in the world and uh, I think along with, with all the other work that we do um, through Club Doncaster Foundation we're changing young people's lives um, and if I can make a difference to one person's lives then, then I think I made a good job so yeah I'm enjoying my time here.